Okay, now touch my finger with your finger, touch your nose. Take your thumb, take your thumb, slowly. It looks like a field sobriety test. A little more trouble on the left side, huh? Yeah, left side. There are no blood samples, no brain scans, just this series of exercises. Uh, we're looking for any evidence of a slowness of movement. So somebody who has Parkinson would do it at a very slow rate. And then Dr. Joseph Jankovic has them walk. Okay, T turn around, come back. Before they even turn around, the Parkinson's experts like Jankovic okay, will know, we'll and most will tell their patients straight Trust out. Me. They have okay. a degenerative neurological so disease still, for which balance. there is no cure. For Carol Fry, it was not so much a diagnosis as a sentence. Doctor, it was very cold. He says, you have Parkinson's disease. Do you have any questions? Carol Fry was angry at her first doctor. Kathleen Christ, who directs this support group, says patients often leave feeling that way. Feeling really mad and, and mad at the process, but it's a very common complaint from people. The doctors that make a quick diagnosis, they're usually right? M yeah, most of the time they're right. Over the past 30 years, Jankovic has diagnosed 10,000 patients, and he understands the anger. Do you remember if I was angry? <laughs> the beginning of the day, the news department's regular morning the meeting. Property. The builders are now walking away from the property. My hands show no signs of Parkinson's like tremors, but the deadline is still eight hours away, and the tremors, they'll come. Sometimes I have to remind myself that it's the tremors that make me fortunate. The tremor dominant form of Parkinson generally has better, more favorable prognosis than the other type of Parkinson's disease. Why, they don't know, but Parkinson's has been defying science for decades, so there is hope for patients like Bill Chambers. In the woodlands at a medical company named Power 3, researchers believe they have found the protein markers that identify someone with Parkinson's. We're probably in the 8 to 10 months range uh, of being definitive and ready to launch this as a homebrew test. In theory, doctors would be able to send a blood sample to Power 3, where they would compare its protein with a normal protein, like these. The red is one patient, the, the green is another. They should overlap? Yes. If they're normal. Correct. They don't. Two red spots on the bottom and three green ones across the top don't overlap at all, which means one of these two has Parkinson's. And while this may look simple, in Ira Goldnoff's 30 years of researching proteins, there have been far more failures than successes. Problems with reproducibility, problems with uh, uh, not being able to find the same protein biomarkers again and again. Power 3 CEO Steve Resch is cautious but optimistic. Because it could be a paradigm changing event in for medical science and for this disease in particular, Parkinson's. The significance is this. There are 17,000 people in Houston who've been diagnosed with Parkinson's, but there are tens of thousands more who have it but don't know it. And that's because the symptoms don't begin to appear until you've already lost 50 to 80 percent of your capacity to produce dopamine. This isn't going to bring life again to Muhammad Ali's frozen face, nor calm the neurons that dance inside Michael J. Fox but it might save their children or yours if you're one of the 30% who inherited the disease and believe you might pass it on to your own children. Those biomarkers could enable you to have your children tested early and put on medications that could slow the progression of the disease. It's now 3.30, the deadline is five. My right hand is just beginning to shake. By five, it'll be flopping like a fish. The reality is coming home just as it did for Ken Rogers. Uh, I accept the fact that I can't write with my right hand anymore. Doctors can't tell you if you've got two good years left or five years or 10 years, but it's been six years since I was first diagnosed. And it doesn't take a doctor to tell you that if your hands are shaking and your vision is doubled and your speech is slurred, that you can't continue to ignore the obvious, that your time is running out. Dan Locke, 11 News.